It is 7 p.m. And I'm gonna start getting ready for work. All right, so today's video is sponsored by Hey Bud Skincare, and they sent me this collection. All you need to break up with bad skin and breakouts. Their essential anti-acne solution will help combat inflammation and congestion, hyperpigmentation, and more in a four-step routine containing loads of antioxidants and antibacterial clearing agents for super clear and hydrated skin all the time. This is the Clear Skin All-Stars Collection. The Clear is Clay Mask, has hemp and kaolin in it, draws out impurities, clears and brightens. The Get Hydrated Hemp Gel Moisturizer deeply hydrates and calms skin. The Smooth It Over 10% Niacinamide and Hemp Serum, which balances oil levels and improves skin texture. And the Hit Refresh Hemp Gel Cleanser, which gently cleanses and reduces excess oils. And a brush to put it all on with. Australia's number one hemp skincare brand. It's green, it's friendly, it's vegan, it's cruelty free. You can get 10% off your first order now if you go on their website, which is heybudskincare.com. They've got a bunch of before and after pictures on their website as well, if you're curious yourself. With 4.9 stars out of 5 with over 7,000 reviews, go check them out. Skincare is important, especially if you're someone who wears a lot of makeup, like me, and maybe you. So thank you again, Hey Bud Skincare, for sending me some skincare. Check them out, and tell them Ava sent you. And that's it, the smallest little ad segment you've ever seen. Now back to the video you were watching. So I'm running an hour behind, so we're gonna rush. You know what to score, all the usual good stuff. I think for today's look, I'm gonna try and do like a... Like a very no eyebrow or less eyebrow look. I want to look like like a power lesbian or something. Which means I'm gonna have to try really hard to actually glue these eyebrows down like well without texture. So my concept with today's look is I have a new blazer. I also want to do this like short hair kind of look. I've got two wig options. I've got one that's like a pixie wig, and I've got one that's like a bob that I'm gonna try and like slick back. Both quite different looks for me, but it's all gonna be like all about the face, so I need this face to be like perfect. Which is it's kind of awkward because I don't know if I have perfect face time today. But also, I've got this mad spot. Might have to turn that into a beauty mark. I hate having spots around my mouth. It makes me feel like I've got like herpes or something. Woo! Presents! I don't know if anyone knew that I'm obsessed with The Simpsons, but I'm obsessed with The Simpsons. You heard it here first. I have a video of me turning myself into Marge Simpson. It's really good. Really underwatched. It's a piece of art. Monologue about The Simpsons and its parallels with my own life and my relationship with my mother. And it's really pretentious and artsy and stupid and funny, but thought-provoking obsessed with it and myself but anyway watch that but they did a collection with revolution this is a bag um this is like a treehouse of horror one but there's a couple things they've done because there's also the summer of love um is it a collection i don't know but it, it's very this this very like kind of 60s uh hippie kind of vibe stuff which is like when Homer and Marge, I think, are portrayed as having met in the 60s. It's a birthday present, so thank you. You know who you are. I've got a few things here. So there's a spooktacular face palette. A lettre visage à l'éblement spéculateur. I'm assuming that's contour, blush, and highlight. A mini eyeshadow palette. Quaff the Raven. That has eight colours in it. A black, light brown, reddish brown, whitish, greyish, brownish. Shimmery, glittery brown, black. This could be quite good for today's look, actually. Mm. But however, there's also the main thing. The Summer of Love eyeshadow palette. There's over and Marge being all cute. Um, this has 24 colours in it. Mm. There's a lot of colours here. I'm going to try this out too, because there's a lot of colours there I can use. A liquid blush. A red lipstick. They call it a lip kit. A lip gloss liquid lipstick set in the colour. Devil Flanders. It's always the ones you least expect. And lastly, gonna seal the deal with a fixing spray. There's all that much. But I am gonna start with my usual base stuff. So I went for the eyebrows to dry. I'm gonna put another layer there, month. Then I'm gonna do colour correcting and then a bunch of face stuff. Now I think I'm actually gonna put a wig cap on. It'll just help me feel like really snatched. Really try to squish my hair down as well since I'm I know I'm gonna be wearing short hair today. Gonna to colour correct all our problem areas, you know. 
not much. Oh yeah, I've also got a brush set. Hey! The gifts, they keep on giving. Doing my makeup hurts because I've got like a gum infection, which I've had like a week now. I can't even enjoy food or anything, it's horrible. Sick of living in pain and having bad things happen to good people. So I'm gonna go in with my contour. Let me just check if this face palette is cream or powder. So we've got Evil Twin, Brains, and Cursed. Yeah, they're all powders, so it's like a contour powder, a blush, and then a shimmery highlighter. How fun. So far, so good. This is the scary bit, though. Once I've set the eyebrows, then I go over it with a, like a colour corrector cream. This is when it all gets it can get kind of messy. But I also feel like this waxy, thick concealer kind of helps sort out the texture as well. I think these are some pretty well glued down brows. Thank God, today of all days, I really wanted it. <laughs> I'm gonna put the contour on now since I'm already looking like a crazy orange person. Severe forehead contour, which will end up getting covered if I end up wearing the pixie wig anyway. So it's fine. That is, that's, well, that's definitely severe. Jeez, this might be enough for my whole face with that. I'm able to do my jaw with that as well. I'll do a little bit of the cheeks as well, just a little bit, so I'm like fierce. Fierce and snatched. Well, I look ridiculous. I'm contouring my jaw and my chin so I can make myself look more feminine. Because, you know, women look like this. Now that I'm essentially in blackface, we can blend it all away. Oh, I've got a big spot on my forehead as well, a proper devil horn one. God, I look, I just look atrocious right now. In the spirit of saving time, I think I'm gonna put my highlight on before my base, because then I don't have to be like, doing the same area twice or whatever. And I think that'll save time. Snatched cheek, look at that. Also, look at this contrast, I'm obsessed with it, I think it's so good. And I like pulling the cheek in onto the nose, so that nose just becomes tiny. <laughs> Isn't it crazy how you can put down such a dark brown and a stark white? But then with enough blending, you can look like a human. Let's go. Being very careful over the brow cover. So as not to disturb. And I'll go over the cheek contour as well. Because I really don't want it that harsh. Like, I don't want it that harsh. I mean, I'm already bony enough. I don't need to be looking bonier. I'll end up just looking um, like an old person. I mess with people though. I tell them I'm anything from 18 to 40. When you pass, it's both. Why not? See, if you're not a human being... You're a human doing. If there's some contour left on this brush, we're just gonna quickly redarken the edges. Redefine and refine. Is that what refine means? <laughs> Language. Back in with the white. It's a lot of back and forth. Has my colour correction just changed? Ah. Yeah. Uh. I like this one because it's real cute, but... Ugh. Wow, this looks really blue. A little white forehead one. Why do we do it? I don't know. I am doing pretty good for time. I am flying through this makeup. I don't really have much of an idea of what kind of eye I want to do. I don't think I want to do a whole big massive cut crease situation because I kind of look like fashion chic and... I think working and lifting things and myself and dancing and stuff, I've done some damage to some of my muscles and every time I sneeze it really hurts my lower back up above my butt. And I hate that because I love sneezing. So I'm just going to suggest where the eyeliner is going to go in this wet, messy cream stage. It's quite wide. But I can't not do a cut crease. You can't do, do drag without a cut crease. <sighs> They're going to be like this sort of shape. Which, like, I should make them bigger for the drag illusion, but I want to look, like, fierce and small-eyed. Not so high, but very narrow. Should be fine, should work. I'm going to use a blonde brow pencil, because I want these eyebrows to be really faint, really fair, really light, and barely there. I don't want these eyebrows to look bad. I don't want to look like I've got baby queen eyebrows. That's my worst fear. Oh! Go in and go off with our white cream and highlight this underbrow. That's what I was thinking. This brow cover today has gone so well and I'm so thankful to God. 
and everyone who could be here today. Which just means I have to actually do my makeup properly today, and that's upsetting. White and all white. Because I heard you like white, so I'm going to white on your white. I remember Pimp My Ride had a PS2 game, and it was really bad. I remember the first girl was just some, like, punk girl, and she wanted you to do stuff to her car, and then, like, after you do it, her reaction's just like, Ah! That is so rocking! And I remember thinking, like, you don't actually think that. Pure cracking the code, I was like, she was gonna say this regardless. That is a scripted voice line. I wanna know what this lady thinks. I have kissed her out. Now, I don't think these brows are even. What are you gonna do? Fix them. I think once I do my eyeshadow, it's gonna look fierce. And then when I do a lip, I'm gonna do a red lip. I'm gonna do a Devil Flanders red lip. That's the blueprint. Let's set this face. I go over the dark over the darks. Oh no, I'm so hungry. It's not well. I just want a pizza. Look at these margaritas. Yum. Because, like, my skin is really dry now on account of the HRT. And so I used this mattifying powder this one time, and it all just fucking shriveled up and absorbed itself out of complete dryness. And I'm not about to let that happen again. Oh, I hate being in a rush. It's not cute. It does not instill me with happiness. This calls for a powder brush. So I've got four to choose from. Honest to God, wish I knew the difference. Human. Eyeshadow, contour, blush, powder. I love this colour, this pink to orange. Sorry. And then this whole thing as well is just like real different and cute anyway, so. Oh, it feels so nice and light and lovely. Oh. There's pros and cons to like the new brush thing, because like on the one hand, I like an old used brush that's got plenty of product just way in it, because uh, I just don't wash my brushes. I hardly ever need to use eyeshadow palettes anymore because I've just got a variety of brushes that have eyeshadow fucking soaked and seeped into them, so I'll just, I'll just do that. Money. Brains. That's nice, but damn is that so. Buildable. We'll, we'll call it buildable. I don't know if it is buildable, but I think that's just what you say when someone's like light and sheer. I mean, this is nice for real people or like the daytime. That's cute. I like what it's done to my face. Let's just try them all. I'm now going to try Evil Twin. Dark. Well, you can't accuse me of not contouring today because I very much have. It's just a straight up white powder. It has done that thing when oil gets into it and it just kind of starts, stops moving. So I just need to like... Now I like a bright, like a white powder that is actually like just white, like pigmented white. Not just translucent that's going to like dust off or like talcum powder. White, and I just like that, because I just want to have a really bright white cheek. Is that so wrong? While we're also here in this town, we're gonna set those eyebrow, um, or set those eyebrow. Now I'm also trying to like blend it as I place it, because this stuff like dries on and then does not dust off. I don't even know if I'm gonna have time to get food before work. I'm gonna have to be late, I'm just gonna have to be like, sad guys, there's been an emergency. I'm hungry. Slightly blending it away, but not too much because I do want to have a lot of excess powder under my eyes to catch fallout. Eyes. I'm going to use the palette, but I don't think it's going to be the most interesting use of this palette because I want to do lots of dark colours. So let's open up the Raven Bart. Oh, nice. The colours have names. So we've got the Raven, a nice black. Monkey's Paw, a brown. Hell to pay, which is like a brown, a bricky, ready brown. Nevermore, there you go, is like a shimmery cream. Eel pie is like a grey. Unearthly is another brown, but like a deeper brown. Zombie is like a shimmery nude. And then a gravestone is, I don't know, like a shimmery black. I'm so tempted to use this whole thing. That feels kind of bad on this palette because I also really want to use this palette. So, I'm just gonna, like, start off with, I guess, just straight up black. That's probably an unwise thing to do. But I'm unwise. Let me zoom in because I always forget to zoom in. Oop! This looks very black. How black is it? There you go, that is a serviceable black eyeshadow. So, we're gonna just kind of draw on where the wing and all that's gonna go. We're gonna go over it with eyeliner and make it look lovely. But for now, we're just gonna like... Not... Ha! <laughs> okay, so it doesn't blend out the most. It doesn't go very far, but that's kind of good because so many times where I have a black and then you put a little bit on and you're like, whoops. Now I'm a panda. Whereas this is like a... A controllable black. Am I just giving it credit? Who knows? 
and I'm doing both eyes at the same time because missed me with that stuff that like all these makeup people do where they just do like one eye at a time. Oh. Now I'm gonna go in with Unearthly, the brown. Ooh, it's a nice brown. And yeah, I'm using the same brush. I'm just committed and wild and chaotic like that. Now I'm gonna go into how to pay because I definitely did envision lots more red with this look. So let's just see how that looks. That's such a pretty colour, that's also a lot of damn eyeshadow on one eyelid. Hey, the colours on these are good, like, the pigmentation. Under. Try it going over. Hey, under. Well, girls, curious what this eel pie is like, is it just going to be like a grey? Because, like, that's, that's fun, I guess. So I'm just going to take a brush that may have colours on it, and just back and forth, up and down, in and out, sweep and swipe. I like it. I'm liking it. I'm going to do some back and forth with some other colours and just kind of like, whoa. Let's open up the Summer of Love. The colours look so much nicer in real life than the actual like little picture they had, but like I'm really drawn to like the pink and the yellow and the orange and oh! This is good. I wish I was doing a Simpsons look right now, but I've just done two. I like this colour, this corsage. Can you see? That one. And then just... Ah. Can you see? Professional makeup application. I'm also going to do the same with this first love, which is like the same thing, but like different. Oh, it's like a nice gold. I want to say buttery. Does that make sense for eyeshadow to feel buttery? And then while I'm here, and since I've already got shiny fingers, I'm going to go into this Prom King. Can't tell if it's slightly metallic or not, but it's like a burgundy or something. And I'm just going to throw that on the second half of the eyes. Need we go back in with the black? Ooh. And let's go in with a liner. Why not? Are these the best, coolest, most interesting eyes I've ever done? No. But I do like how dark and narrow this is looking and the kind of face this is giving me. I add some interest. I'm going to do some of this like white highlighting under eye situation just to kind of drag it back up a bit. Definitely should have waited till that black had dried a bit more. We do, as they say, move. I'm going to wait for that to dry before I put liner underneath it. And so in the meantime, I'm going to redo these eyebrows. I really do want to do like a light eyebrow, barely there. Brow. Little underbrow highlight one. I'm gonna look so light and fair. These eyebrows are now really showing up. <laughs> well, I completely boobed that up, Jesus Christ. Why does this eye look dark in this one? It don't make no sense. Clean up on aisle me. I've made a complete dog's dinner of this eyeliner now. Um, absolute dog's bollocks, pig's ear dinner. Pigs and dog's testicles that they eat. But do we have the time to fix it? No. Do we care? No. Mascara. Let's zoom out. Oh. Before I put my lashes on, I'm going to put my turtleneck that I'm wearing tonight on. And then while that lash glue is drying, let's get into this Devil Flanders lipstick set. We've got our lipstick and our gloss. Very excited to see these together. What a red! Honestly, never underestimate the transformative power of a good big eyelash, because girl... Mm-hmm. What does this colour call itself? Chestnut, man. I just think it's neat. Oh. Okay. So it feels like it goes on quite thin and very dry, but you can also still see there's still lots of colour there. And that is so red. And that is a very specific scent and taste, and I cannot describe it for the life of me. It smells, it's like sweet, like some sort of snack or something. Oh, that is red. <laughs> me when something's red. Okay. I'm gonna let that dry, then we're gonna try out the gloss, and then in that meantime, I'm gonna also try out the highlighter. How's oh, that Kirsty, Kirsty with Kirsty, hmm? Well, it's certainly subtle. There you go, I coloured that spot in, turned it into a lovely beauty mark. That smells like coffee, or like a coffee scented thing. 
Um, it's really hard for me to tell what this gloss would have looked like on its own, and I have just coloured the applicator in red lipstick. But it looks like a pink kind of gloss. Wearable shiny. Here's a gloss. Fine. Okay, now I'm going to put on my wig and my outfit. I've got two wigs I'm going to wear, so I'm going to wear the first one first, because that's easier to put on, and then the blazer. You're going to see it all, and it's going to be a whole thing. And then I'm going to try doing my actual wig, which is going to be like a slicked back bob moment. So this wig, it's going to look horrible. <laughs> It's gonna look so bad, but I did it myself. Do you know how hard it is to dye half a wig, like a synthetic wig? It's not even human, so you have to use like a like a polyester, like a synthetic dye, um, which only works in boiling water. You have to put it in a pan while it's boiling. Do you know how hard it is to submerge exactly half a wig in actively boiling water to dye it? Like as soon as it touches the liquid, it dies. Girl, it was a job, but you know what? I've got it. This half and half little moment. I'm going for this short haired pixie look. Oh, I look like shit. I may need to involve a hat in this. This is like real different for me, but it is the moment and it is fashion. Zada. Imagine there's gloves as well, because I can't find them right now. I feel like a beret with this like black and white thing is giving very mime. And this is the finished look for now. Now, if I manage to get some time with me wearing the other wig, I'll include that as well, because it might look pretty cool, I don't know. But for now, this is it. This is what I'm wearing for the second half of the night, definitely. Just into this, like, black and white thing. I had a vision, I had an idea. And, like, it's cool. So, I'm, I don't know if it look, if it still gives, like, the power lesbian vibe I was going for. Um, it's cool, it's different, and it's striking, and it's a spectacle. And that's all we want, isn't it? Anyway, about all the Simpsons stuff, except for the big eyeshadow palette, which I've not tried. Oh my god, I never tried the liquid blush either. Ugh. Well, we can try the fixing spray. That's the Summer of Love fixing spray. Feels nice, and it smells nice. That's so refreshing and lovely. Mmm. The fact that it sets makeup is a bonus. This just smells nice. I'd just do it anyway. Oh. I believe that's all for me today. So, if you like this video and all... Well, first of all, yeah, check out the Simpsons stuff. It's pretty cool. Um... Also check out my Marge Simpson video because that's even cooler. They'll be around in the description, in a card, and the end screen, all that. Anyway, if you liked this, like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think. I preferably share it around because I need views. <laughs> Subscribe for future content. Ring the bell if you want, um, because you know YouTube's like that. Check out my channel for all my previous older videos. There's so so many of them. I've got loads of content. You can just binge watch me. It's Fun. I've got all sorts of videos. I've got makeup transformations, turning people into me, tutorials, full body things, unedited ones, and more fun videos as well. I've just got all sorts of stuff. If you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know. Again, leave a comment. Check me out on other social media. That's mainly Facebook and Instagram, especially Instagram. That's why I post very regularly all my looks, especially the ones that don't make it to YouTube, which can sometimes be the more interesting ones. I think that's all. Check out any of the links in my bio if you're interested in supporting a good cause and all that. I've, uh, I want money and there's plenty of links to donate money to me in my bio because um, I need money. That's all. Bye-bye now. Mm -hmm.